And then in the summer of 1982, Mataji is leading our dream group through the summer. Tonight she is fierce in her love and compassion. I think of her greatness, how she worries about all of us, trying to help us, planning for us, accepting us as part of the divine plan. We all tell ourselves what we need to know. What is my relationship to Madhiji? Sometimes light comes in through her eyes and I feel it in my heart, rushing out. I don't even need to be here near her and her light fills me. There is no time, no in-between. Sometimes I feel so grateful that every minute is a whisper of a prayer of gratitude. I look back to the stiffness and darkness I lived in and hardly, and I can hardly recognize myself. Summer of 1983, I'm living in Creek Cabin, a little log cabin I first saw in my dream before coming, to, coming here. I have it all to myself and make a promise to do the Divine Light Mantra for two hours each morning. Will I be able to do it for 40 days? My first morning, I practiced, and I am amazed. How did I keep the mantra going for so long? Guidance of the mala beads, one by one, big, little, round, and round. Will it change the samskaras, the patterns of my mind? Then what a marvelous evening. After satsang Swami Radha, with Swami Radha, I can feel my body ignited in love, burning through whatever obstructs. She is the most creative being I've ever met and the most sensible. I want to reach her level of patience and love, to surrender to the divine as fully as I can. Accept what is, determine, conce develop concentration, approach the voice of inspiration. With gratitude, I do the Divine Mother dance in the moonlight, and my body and hands look finer, luminous in this light. I dance to Swami Radha, my Divine Mother, offering everything I am and everything I do. The gestures seem magically inspired by grace and love. They are delicate and full of feeling, flowing, moving in the moonlight on the porch outside the cabin. I repeat the Divine Mother prayer. So we can repeat the Divine Mother prayer. Oh, Divine Mother. May all my speech and idle talk be mantra. All actions of my hands be mudra. All eating and drinking be the offering of oblations unto thee. All lying down prostrations before thee. May all pleasures be as dedicating my entire self unto thee. And may everything I do be taken as thy 